What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to give you guys an update on what's in my wallet for the month of July. For more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. But for now, come on, let's go. What's up guys, it's Jay and welcome to Flashpoint. We're all about credit, credit cards, and other finance tips. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also give this video a thumbs up, it really does help me out. And comment down below if you have any of these cards in your wallet for the month of July as well. Also guys, do not forget about my $100 American Airlines gift card giveaway for once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed, please be sure to do so and that will enter you into the uh, giveaway and also be sure to participate down in the comment section and like the videos i really appreciate it so let's go ahead and get into it so what's in my wallet for the month of july uh basically a little bit has changed not much but just a little bit a lot of the stuff that i am going to show you guys is basically things that i have set up on auto pay so like my cell phone you know a couple of my bills that i'll have on uh, auto pay with certain cards but i don't necessarily use them for everyday spending so uh, i'm just giving you guys an update and so it might seem like i'm using a lot but for the most part for my everyday spending it's very minimal so i just want to give you guys a heads up on that so we're going to start off with the first card and of course it is the american express gold card and the reason why i'm using this card is because it gives you four points per dollar spent at u.s uh, restaurants and i only use this card for restaurants and for the ten dollar dining credit uh, what i'm doing for my dining credit hack is instead of doing Grubhub or whatever and people like to go pick it up, I don't ever see that option on Grubhub, so most people do and I'm not exactly sure why I don't see it on the app or even when I get online or anything like that. It doesn't give me the option for pickup, so I'm not gonna pay for delivery. Uh, the point is to try to maximize the amount of benefits that I get from this card, so what I'm doing is I'm getting either e-gift cards or I'm getting gift cards from the physical location of Shake Shack and Cheesecake Factory, uh, and then I'll get them in $10 increments uh, every month. So that's the way I'm getting that free $10 from this because it comes with $120 dining credit dispersed for $10 every single month. That's the main reason why I use it. Luckily for this year, I'll be able to get the $100 fee credit because I'm actually going to be flying at least two times and I'm going to make sure I, I buy some drinks or some food on the flight whatever it is I'm going to I'm going to get the benefit out of this $100 because if you don't use it you lose it and then you're stuck paying a $250 annual fee so uh, that's you know the downside to uh, American Express uh, charge cards um, that their credits seem to be a little difficult to actually uh, utilize and so yeah so there's first card out of the way oh shit that's loud uh, the next card guys is going to be my Hilton Honors Ascend card and the reason why I'm using this is because uh, I've said it before over and over again that I like having uh, diversified points currencies and basically um, this card gives you gold status with Hilton and I am going to be staying at a Hilton resort uh, coming up here pretty soon in about a month. So uh, I'm using this card, trying to get some extra points. Honestly, I don't really like physically use it, but uh, what you guys need to understand is that uh, one of the good things that comes with this card is that it comes with uh, a program called Hilton Honors Dining. And so if you you know enroll in Hilton Honors Dining basically what they do is they tell you what restaurants are involved with the Hilton Honors Dining program and you can literally use any credit card you want so this is a way to maximize the amount of Hilton Honors points that you get and maximize any points that you want to get on any other card so if I wanted to I could enroll in Hilton Honors Dining and I could use my American Express Gold card and basically I could get both Hilton Honors and uh, American Express points uh, from enrolling into that program all you have to do is load your card information into the Hilton Honors Dining program and once uh, you swipe your card at that specific location that's involved with Hilton Honors Dining, then you're able to get um, 
Hilton Honors points as well. So it, it doesn't have to be from the actual card itself. So, um, you know, occasionally I might throw some gas on it, but it's really not my everyday gas card at the moment. And I'll tell you why here in a bit, because I have another card that I'm using for this quarter only, really. It could change, so who knows? Yeah, so that's why I'm using it for the gold status coming up for Hilton. And uh, yeah, maybe priority pass in the future, who knows? Yeah, so there's that one. Next up guys is going to be my third card that I'm using. And this is basically for any purchase that is not in the bonus categories of the cards that are in my wallet for this month. And that is my Chase Inc. Unlimited card. This gets you 1.5% cash back on all your purchases. So basically 1.5 cents per point compared to one cent per point. Um, you know if it's not in a bonus category of any of the other cards that you have so you always want to make sure that you're maximizing your everyday spending by having that 1.5 cents per point um you know on any purchase that's not in a bonus category so uh, i like using it for that i actually already got the um bonus for this card which was 50,000 ultimate rewards points and i actually got the bonus for my Hilton Honors Ascend card already too, uh, which was 150,000 uh, Hilton Honors points. Two purchases, got the, got the bonuses on both cards. So yeah, so this is for everyday spend that is not in the bonus categories. Um, so that way I'm able to get the maximum value of points with 1.5 points per dollar spent. Next up guys, this card is making its way back into my wallet for the month of July. And <clears throat> that is, the chase freedom card and this card is a five percent cashback rotating category card so basically you get five points per dollar spent on rotating categories so this quarter from the month of july probably through september you're gonna get five points per dollar at gas stations and for streaming services now for the streaming i don't really care because i have another card that i'm using that i use for my streaming services and i have it on auto pay so that's going to be my next card coming up um so yeah so i'm only using this for gas so that way i'm getting those five points per dollar and that's basically it so yeah uh chase freedom oh also one cool thing is that if you guys have gotten an email for using the contactless payment i have a chase freedom contactless payment card right so all you have to do is tap and go right so it's like a dollar 75 if you if you make a purchase of a dollar 75 or more three times basically you're gonna get 500 uh extra bonus points just for doing that and that's like a pretty cool promotion that's going around with chase right now um i got an email i'm not sure i don't i'm not sure if everybody has received an email or not but if you have let me know down in the comments if you were able to maximize on that you know dollar 75 purchase times three and then get that 500 bonus points so that's cool so i'm actually about to do that uh this week coming up so i'm looking forward to that hopefully i'll get those 500 bonus points but yeah so five five points on gas so that's what i'm using this for there goes that next up guys i'm using this for cell phone i'm using this for streaming services for toll roads um anything just in general um because it gives you that consistent five percent cash back on those select purchases um I like it because you know my cell phone comes out to about 100 bucks a month and you know if you do that times five i get 500 points off of just paying my cell phone with this card and so um i'm not really physically using it sometimes um i might go get uh gift cards at an office supply store uh, most people try to ask me how come I don't get gift cards with my American Express uh, gold card at uh, grocery stores, but that's four points uh, just for getting gift cards. And I don't always buy gift cards, so um, I don't like to do any unnecessary spending. So that's kind of my thing. And then for me, it's also just a hassle just to go to a grocery store, just to go buy gift cards. Most of the time I find myself in, a, uh, in an office supply store anyways. So while I'm there, uh, I'll always try to maximize that 5% cash back on those gift cards as well. And that is going to be the Chase Inc. cash card. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. I get five points per dollar spent uh, on, on this card as well. Uh, and this is consistent. It doesn't have rotating categories, so I know that 
if I put those charges on auto pay, I'm always gonna get that 5% cash back no matter what. I don't have to worry about switching over to another card or anything like that. Like it's always gonna earn a consistent 5% cash back. Um, a lot of these cards that I have, uh, that I've shown you guys, do have no annual fees, um, such as the Ink Cash, such as the Ink Unlimited, and also, what other cards did I show you guys? The Chase Freedom have uh, no annual fees. So those are some good cards from Chase, and they have pretty high sign-up bonuses, uh, except for the Chase Freedom. I believe it's about $150 um, cash back, which turns into 15,000 Ultimate Rewards points. But the Ink Unlimited and the Ink Cash card both come with $500 cash back after hitting the minimum spend, which turns into 50,000 Ultimate Rewards points, and that's pretty awesome. So um, you basically could out of just those three cards you could get 115,000 ultimate rewards points and transfer those out to transfer partners and get them at a much higher value than the original one cent per point you could get them sometimes at three cents sometimes at four cents especially if you're going through Hyatt so that's always a good thing to do um, with the gold card obviously I said it in the beginning it has a $250 annual fee and you know with American Express starting to kind of go away with their you know their benefits or even um they're starting to clamp down on you know all the hacks that we've been able to maximize you know the use out of these cards from and so uh if i'm not going to be able to utilize that 100 dollars credit or if things start changing that make uh getting the 120 dollars uh, dining credit a lot harder then i'm obviously gonna i'm not gonna cancel the card um, actually, I might cancel it because there's no downgrade option that will sit me down to a no annual fee card. But if I want to keep my points, then I'll probably get the blue business plus card. Yeah, so I'll probably do that. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, and then the Hilton Honors Ascend comes with a $95 annual fee, which is not bad because I think that's a pretty underrated card. You get a lot of really good perks with that card. Hilton Gold Status, you get priority pass, uh, 10 priority pass visits uh, a year, and you also get that pretty high sign-up bonus, which is pretty awesome. So that'll conclude today's video, guys. For more video updates, hit that subscribe button. If you found this information to be helpful, give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Drop a comment down below to let me know what's in your wallet for the month of July. I'd really like to know. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notifications down in the bottom left corner so that way you guys can stay up to date for whenever I drop my next video. Be a good person, be safe, be smart, and remember, credit is your life. Peace. Actually, I will see you guys next time. Peace.